محمد محمد رسول الله رسول الله رسول الله محمد رسول الله السلام عليكم my name is azish today i will talk about a sermon given by the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the last day in the month of shaban Salman Farsi relates that the Holy Prophet, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, delivered us a sermon on the last day of the month of Shaban, and said, O people, a great month has dawned upon you, a month of blessings in which there is the Laylatul Qadr, which is better than a thousand months. Fasting during the month is obligatory from God, and nightly prayers are voluntary. Anyone who partakes of a good deed in it is like the one who discharges an obligatory ritual in other months. Anyone who discharges an obligatory article in this month is like the one who discharges 70 of them in other months. This was a month of patience, and patience has its reward in paradise. This was a month of reconciliation, and a month in which a believer's wealth was enhanced. Anyone who fed a fasting person at the time of his breaking fast will have his sins remitted, will be shielded from fire, and will earn a reward equivalent to that earned by the person who fasted without the laddering suffering any diminution. We asked the Holy Prophet وسلم, that not every one of us could afford to help a fasting person. The Holy Prophet replied that this kind of reward would be available even if a little quantity of milk, yogurt, or water was offered at the time of the breaking of the fast. Anyone who fed a satisfying meal to a fasting person would be offered the drinks from my springs so that he would never suffer any thirst to the day he entered paradise. The, er- the earlier part of the month was mercy, its middle remission from sins, and the last portion was manumission from fire. Anyone who lightens the work of his servants in this month will have his sins forgiven by God and will find himself saved from fire. Thank you. Prayer for steadfastness and good end. When in the court of the Pharaoh, the designs of the magicians were frustrated, and Pharaoh threatened them with revenge. Supplicating God, they replied, Audu Bilahi Mina Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Rabbana Afriq Alayna Sabram Va Dabafana Muslimin Surah Al-Araf Chapter 7 verse 127 Our Lord pour forth upon us steadfastness and causes to die resign unto you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim that you may exalt Allah for his having guided you. The prime object of man's creation is to exalt Allah and that is why during the month of Ramadan and during the Eid prayers following it, considerable stress is laid on the recitation of Takbir. Muhammad, Muhammad, Rasulullah, 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 Muhammad, Rasulullah.